Uh, so with a lot of our athletes, we notice a big uh, deficit in uh, thoracic extension, thoracic spine being the upper back. Okay, so this is an exercise we like to do to enhance thoracic extension using, using the foam roll. So Grant here is going to lay back on the foam roll, so at the base of his upper back, that's where the low back starts to come out into his upper back. Okay, so we're looking at the thoracic extension. Hips are on the ground to make sure his lumbar spine stays in a good neutral position. He's going to put his forearms together and reach back far on his head. Okay, keeping the forearms together. Okay, and he's going to grip on the back of his head. What this is going to do is it's going to keep his neck in a cervical spine in a good neutral position so he's not getting any cervical extension while he goes into thoracic extension. Okay, so now what he's going to do is he's just going to bend back, keeping his butt on the ground, and breathe. Okay, then he's going to uh, activate the anterior core and pull forward, squeeze. He's going to do, we usually do eight reps on this, and he's going to do a couple more right here. He's just breathing. He's do eight reps. And then we'll move down a section or up a section on his back. So go ahead and move up a little bit. All right. He's going to repeat that. He's going to do a couple reps there. Focus here is on breathing and extending through the upper back and not letting the chin drive up or letting the butt off the ground to go into lumbar extension. Either. So I'll do a couple reps there and we'll move up. Up one more time. So we should do about uh, sets of eight of each of these positions uh, to enhance thoracic extension in our athletes. Thanks,